Hey guys, how's it going? I'm working on a set of fall containers today. It's gorgeous out at 62 degrees right now and sunny. I feel like I should have my fall containers done by now though. I mean, we're getting close to October, but that's just the way it goes, right? I still actually have a few more containers to do after these that I'm working on today. Uh, but I thought you would enjoy seeing them because I've got some gorgeous plants and I think they're gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you where I'm at. All right, so this is where we're at. There's the front door right there and the walkway that leads down. So I'm gonna swap these two containers out today. Can't even see the pots anymore. The potato vine has just kind of taken over and they don't look horrible. They just look a little tired and I just want some fresh fall stuff in there. So I had a potato vine that did excellent. Uh, there's Supertunia Black Cherry, which still looks really good, and that's actually a really great fall color. And then I had Cannas, which did so good this year. In fact, this one over here looks like it has another bloom coming on. This is the Toucan Rose variety, and they just bloomed and bloomed and bloomed all summer long. So I'm going to pop those out and store them in my garage. And then, so we've got some Super Bells that are just looking a little tired. I think I actually missed these a couple of times watering, so they got a little bit kind of crispy this summer. Anyway, so I've got my pop-up bag here. I'm gonna clean all this stuff out and then I'll show you the plants. cleaned out and wiped down as best as I could and I think they look pretty nice. So now you can see the pots. These are the urns that we got from Crescent Garden. You get closer so you can see some detail. They're really pretty and they're lightweight which is very nice. I need to go get the blower though so I can clean up my mess and some potting soil and then plant. <music> They're all cleaned up and full of soil. So let me show you the plants I've got. These I'm really excited about. So first of all, we've got Anna's Magic Ball Arborvita. And I love this plant, how soft it is. I love the yellow tips on it. And I think it'll look really pretty as a centerpiece, kind of structural and not too tall. I kind of wanted to go for a little bit of a different look. And the thing about these Arborvitas is that they're a zone three. So hardy down to a zone three, which I garden in a zone five. So when you're planting shrubs in a container, you do have to keep that in mind and try to choose varieties that are rated at least two zones colder than your actual growing zone. That way you have a little bit of a buffer and they do a little bit better wintering over in containers. So that is my centerpiece. And then to go around, I brought up just kind of a mishmash of stuff. So this is a Primo Wild Rose Hookera. Look at that. Look at the undersides of the leaves. Absolutely beautiful and I think even more beautiful is the combination of these two. Sorry about the sun and the shadows, you guys. It's kind of a weird spot. So we've got the hookah, and then look at this cabbage. I think they look so pretty together because of that like purplish pink veining down in here. They just work with each other really nicely. And these cabbage come in a six inch container. See that right there? And there's three of them per container. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in there and probably break them apart so that I have three individuals. I just really liked the size of these because these containers are not enormous. So I don't really have room to jam a bunch of big root balls in there. Then I brought up these. Look at how sweet these are. These are just little Viola Penny Whites. I thought it would be very pretty contrast right there. And then last, I have some Vinca. I needed something that would trail a little bit, something to make it look soft and finished. And I think that this will do the trick. And these I might be able to split into two. So we'll see how that goes. So since these urns are kind of backed by this arbor right here, I do think I'm gonna design them to where the Arborvita maybe sits slightly toward the back and then I'll design heavier toward the sides in the front. So here we go. Oh, 
all done and they are looking so pretty. Look at that mix. I think it's just absolutely perfect. So we've got the little Anna's Magic Ball Arborvita. I used two Wild Rose Hookeras, so there's one in the front and then there's one tucked right in, kind of to the back-ish. And you'll notice I did end up putting the Arborvita right in the middle of the pot, just because I thought, you know what? We drive from this direction, so you can kind of see the back a little bit more than I thought. I thought it would look kind of funny if I didn't have it centered. And then I broke apart the cabbage and used all three pieces in each pot. So I've got one here, kind of just spread the distance a little bit. There's one here and then one in the back. I used three of the white violas and then I used one and a half of the vincas in the one gallon size. So I used three, let's see, yeah, three one gallon size plants total and broke them in half and then just put the halves, each section in, in like thirds there. So three of most everything except for the hookeras. I could only fit two of them in there because they were pretty big. Moved into a little shade because it's getting warm out here. It's so gorgeous. I'm so glad I got those containers planted and I think they turned out so pretty. And I think the mix of plants is gonna work really, really well because I used three, no, four different perennials in that container. So the Anna's Magic Ball is a perennial shrub. Then we've got uh, the hookeras, which are perennial, the vinca and the violas are both perennial. So the only plant in that container that's not gonna survive from year to year is the cabbage. And cabbage can take an enormous amount of cold, so I expect those to last for a good part of the winter before they kind of fade out. So I think this is gonna be a really great mix to take me from fall into winter so I can enjoy them for a longer amount of time. So that's it for today's video, you guys. It was kind of a little mini vlog. I have a lot of other things to do out here today, but it's more along the lines of weeding and maintenance <laughs> and watering. So not nearly as fun and pretty as that type of project. So anyway, I think it's gonna be a great rest of the day. I hope you guys are enjoying your day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.